Uh, I am Mitch Cope, and with Gina Reichert, we are Design99, uh, creating several different kinds of things. Um, the first one, which doesn't show up, is, a, is an installation at the Museum of Contemporary Art Detroit, um, a series of trailers connected to a 773 Bobcat that are meant to roam and scavenge and repurpose things we find in the neighborhood and also to recycle and revamp the neighborhood. Uh, this is the powerhouse, which is our first neighborhood project and probably our last one because it's going on forever. It's a off the grid house. Where it was an experiment to see if we could, what it would take to, to remove a house in the middle of the city off the grid. And next to it, you don't see the neighborhood machine. Uh, next. Um, this is the neighborhood machine in the field, ready for action. Next. And one of the important things that the neighborhood machine does is it finds local resources. One of the big local resources we have that we're blessed with in Detroit is housing stock. So we took this house that the back of it was fire damaged, the front of it was still good, and we removed the floor to make this. Next. Uh, a utility trailer or a dance floor. Um, it's called the GMC trailer or Gordon, Meta Gordon Meta Clark trailer. <laughs> Next. Um, another trailer was, was made out of found jars and bits and pieces and tools out of a, another fire damaged house. Next. So here's the trailer ready for action. We can take this trailer anywhere in the neighborhood with the bobcat and if we need a grease bolt or a fitting, it's all in there. Um, this is also a little bit of the history of jar technology post-World post -World War II. Next. Um, here's our asset management division, um, <laughs> harvesting the, the materials. Next. And we are on our way to building our first garbage totem, garbage totem number one, which we decided to pull out the available mattresses. Next. And here it is, stacked up in a pine tree in 2000, yeah, 2010. And this was really important for us to occupy this space to kind of change the dynamic of the space. It was formerly a dump site and was the beginning of a process of another project that we're doing, which is a skate park that's being built on there, a sculpture park, skate park. Next. For Creative Capital, we are moving a step further. Garbage showroom number two is going to incorporate more machines, more absurd different kinds of things, and we're going to incorporate um, different deities, gargoyles, and strange, strange little creatures into the project. Next. Like these guys, to ward off evil spirits or to attract um, good doers, if that's a word. Uh, next one. And here's a good doer. This is a neighbor who grew up in the, who grew up basically just down the street from this site, Jim Dykey. And we were out there working one during this, actually, and he could tell us every little business that used to be on this lot. I think he's standing somewhere around where the baker used to be, and behind him was the, was the, was the watch store where his, his dad used to gamble. Um, and one year he came by, and he, well, when we built, built this, he wanted to come by and actually have his picture taken for uh, the, that year's Christmas card. So I obliged him. Next. And in Weston Art Gallery in Cincinnati, we display this work, and it's really important that the work gets out of the neighborhood and into the context of something different, sort of ripping it out so that we can see it from a different perspective. Next. I'm going to leave you with a um, three-minute excerpt of the video that we produced um, for Garbage Totem Number 1.